Hello viewers, welcome to this video and um, I hope you're all doing good. This video is about um, installing FileBeat and MetricBeat and to um, send your system logs and system metrics to an ELK server. Right, um, in my previous video about um, ELK, um, what I did was um, um, I showed you how to run uh, your entire ELK stack in uh, Docker containers, but um, if you haven't watched that video, I would suggest you to um, watch that video because this one is going to be based on that video. So in YouTube, if I search for running ELK stack in Docker, so this video here, running ELK stack in Docker containers, so that was the uh, the previous video I did um, in this series, um, which I'm going to do again in this video. So basically, I've got my notes here. What I'm going to do in this video is I'm going to use Docker containers to um, spin up Elasticsearch and Kibana containers. Um, and I'm going to bring up a couple of virtual machines. Uh, these will be client machines. Um, so I'm going to bring up one CentOS 7 machine and one Ubuntu 18.04 machine. So this is just to show you how to install um, FileBeat and MetricBeat and how to send uh, the logs to uh, the ELK server. So the Elasticsearch will be listening on port 9200 and Kibana on 5601. Okay, so on these virtual machines, what we need is... Um, we need to install FileBeat, which is available from uh, the Elasticsearch repository. So once we add the Elasticsearch repository, YAM repository, uh, to CentOS and apt repository to Ubuntu, we should be able to install FileBeat and MetricBeat. So FileBeat is the um, um, is the tool, is the daemon that sends um, system logs to um, Elasticsearch on port 9200. And metric beat is the one that sends the system metrics. So both these file beats and metric beats, they've got lots of modules available. Um, so you can enable whatever module you want. Um, so in this video, we're going to be looking at um, enabling system logs for file beat and system metrics for metric beat, both on CentOS 7 and um, Ubuntu 1804. Um, in my next video, I'll show you how to um, enable the Apache module so that you can um, forward Apache logs and um, see some Apache metrics um, in your ELK stack. Um, basically, the uh, the logs and the metrics will be sent from the client machine and you can visualize it in Kibana. The data is stored in Elasticsearch. Right, so first thing I'm going to do is to spin up the Docker containers. Let's do that really quickly cd to play directory. I'm going to git clone my github repository for elk which is github.com slash just me and open source slash elk. Um, I'll post the link to these um, repositories in the description if you want to follow along. cd to elk um, cd to docker so I've got the Docker Compose file here. If I show you the file really quickly before bringing the containers up. Okay, so I've got a couple of containers. One is the Elasticsearch and I'm exposing port 9200. Um, the image that I'm using is docker.elastic.co. It's uh, the official Elasticsearch image version 6.5.4. And um, Kibana, I'm using um, the image 6.5.4, also from the Elastic.co. Um, so when I'm starting Kibana, I'm pointing uh, the Elasticsearch URL to um, Elasticsearch colon 9200. I can refer to the service as Elasticsearch because it's in the same Docker Compose file. So um, because I've defined the service name as Elasticsearch here, I can use the Elasticsearch as the URL and the port is 9200 and I'm exposing port 5601 and this one Kibana depends on Elasticsearch so whenever you do docker compose up it will fire up the Elasticsearch container first and then it will start Kibana then when you um, shut it down 
Kibana will be shut down first followed by um, Elasticsearch. And I've got a volume um, ES data one just uh, to store uh, data persistently. So users share Elasticsearch data, so that's what I wanted to um, store. Even if I delete the container and restart it, I want the data to be persistent so that I'm um, creating the volume. Okay, I've, I've talked uh, more about this in the in the video that I showed you in YouTube. That was the previous video in that series. So, um, if you want a little bit more details on on this particular bit, um, you can refer to that video. Right, Docker compose up minus d. Okay, so it has created the default network and it has created the volume docker ES data one, creating elastic search, creating Kibana. Okay. Docker compose logs minus F. Okay, and um, elastic search is coming up. We need to give it uh, like a few seconds so that it's uh, ready. Kibana, and once it's ready, um, we should be able to access it um, from our web browser on port. Um, okay, the state is ready. Previous state was hello. Okay, so now it should be ready. If I go to the web browser, type in localhost colon 5601. Okay, um, that's the Kibana dashboard. Right, so we've got the Kibana dashboard. Now I'm going to um, start the client. For that, what I'm going to do is I need a CentOS 7 virtual machine and an Ubuntu 18.04 virtual machine. Um, for this, I'm also going to check out one of the Git clone repository where I've got vagrant files for various uh, operating systems which is git clone https github.com just me an open source vagrant cd to vagrant and then to vagrant files so if you look in here I've got one for CentOS 7 one for Ubuntu 18 so let's um, start CentOS 7 first vi vagrant file it's just a basic uh, one CentOS 7 machine from the uh, Vagrant box CentOS-7. The name will be CentOSVM01.example.com and the IP address will be 172.42.42.101. Okay, uh, let's change that to 111. Okay, and I've got 2 gig of memory, 1 CPU. That's all looking good. Let's um, start that VM. Vagrant up. Okay, I don't want to look at the logs anymore, so I'm going to close that. Docker compose ps. Okay, uh, so that's the Elasticsearch container on 9200 and Kibana on port 5601. Right. Um, Bringing up the machine CentOS VM01, let's wait for the machine to come up and then um, what we can do is, okay, while well, the machine is um, being provisioned, let's go back to the Kibana dashboard and um, click on this file, add data to Kibana. At the moment, we haven't got any data to Elasticsearch in the Elasticsearch. So let's add some data, add a log data, so what we are basically going to do in this tutorial, in this video, is to add um, system logs. So we're going to forward uh, the system logs from the CentOS 7 client machine to uh, the ELK stack running in Docker containers, so system log. So in the next video, I'll show you how we can do uh, the Apache logs. It's all going to look very similar. So once you learned um, one module, it's just a different module, that's it. But the rest of the commands, uh, is going to be the same. So we'll do that first and then we will go to metrics. So there are lots of metrics that we can use from uh, uh, Elasticsearch uh, 
basically we'll be using this one system metrics here so metrics uh, if you want to monitor metrics in your uh, Kibana if you want to store metrics in Elasticsearch and visualize in Kibana um, on the client side you would be using the metric beat uh, tool uh, and for logging you'll be using uh, the file beat there is also uh, something called audit beat uh, and few other beats um, which I haven't tried okay let's go to logging system logs and um, if you want to install this on the Mac OS you've got option set up instructions for Mac OS Debian for Ubuntu but at the moment we are um, working on CentOS 7 so RPM okay the first thing um, the first instruction is to check this module requires two Elasticsearch plugins that are not installed by default. Okay, so what are those plugins? From the Elasticsearch installation folder, run plugin install ingest GeoIP. So basically, to use the system log, uh, they recommend to install the Elasticsearch plugin ingest GeoIP. So when I um, tested this before recording this video the plugin was already available in the container so we don't have to do anything if you want to check it so the container name is Elasticsearch let's do a docker exec Elasticsearch ls user so within the container Elasticsearch container user share Elasticsearch slash plugins so that's the plugins directory while the Elasticsearch plugins are all um, stored so if you look in there you've got these two plugins in just GIP in just user agent so those are the two plugins that uh, they want us to install but these two plugins are already installed we don't have to install it but uh, for whatever reason if you're using a different Elasticsearch image and that doesn't have these plugins installed all you have to do is docker exec Elasticsearch user share Elasticsearch bin Elasticsearch plugin install in batch mode in just GeoIP. So that will that should hopefully install the other uh, plugin as well as a dependency or something in just user agent because that's what. Um, We've been asked to install just one plugin install uh, in just GeoIP. So if you want to do that um, on the Docker container, you have to follow this step: Docker exec the container and the Elasticsearch plugin command is install in batch mode and the plugin that we need to install. Okay, so since we have got those plugins already installed, we don't have to worry about it. Okay, so let's get into our virtual machine CentOS 7 virtual machine vagrant yes as such if I do LSP underscore release uh, okay cat ATC red hat release I'm on CentOS um, 7.6 okay um, just to show you that I'm not having uh, firewall enabled sudo system CTL status firewall D Firewall is disabled, so um, if you've got firewall enabled, you need to make sure to. Uh, but I don't think you will need to open any port uh, for this demo. But for the next demo, where I'll be showing how to forward the Apache logs or something, um, you might need to open up um, firewall ports depending on what module you enable. Okay, what's next? We need to install FileBeat. Download and install FileBeat okay so these are simple commands what we are doing is we're just directly downloading an RPM file and doing an install using the RPM command um, but if you want a proper way what we will do is we have to add a uh, yum repository and then install file beat using that repository so by doing that way um, if there is an update um, as you can see here we are downloading the specific version 6.5.4 but if you install, but if you add the yum repository for Elasticsearch and you install FileBeat or MetricBeat, 
and then you will get the latest version you'll be able to upgrade whenever a new version is released or so so let's go ahead and add the repository not do these two commands getting started guide if I go in there um, install file beat if you use apt.rm you can install file beat from our repository so that's the link apt um, we're not using Ubuntu at the moment we'll come to that later yum so this is the, the repository configuration that we need to copy sudo vi etc yum.repos.d elastic.repo paste that and close it so now sudo m install minus y file bait so that's all needed all right um, file bait is installed so what's the next step um, we've installed file bait edit the configuration so we need to edit the file bait configuration so this is our client machine CentOS 7 machine um, file bait is the tool that sends the logs system logs to the ELK server so we need to configure file bait to tell where to find uh, the elastic search and Kibana okay so the um, configuration file is etc file beat file beat dot yaml so search for kibana uncomment this entry host colon localhost the IP address of your um, server running kibana and elastic search so this is 5601 so we need to um, enter the IP address of our kibana server uh, we've got Kibana and Elasticsearch both running on my host machine. So if I type in the IP address of my host machine, which is 192.168.1.10.5601. So that's the Kibana URL. Search for outputs. So under the output section, output.elasticsearch, again, set the host name host URL to the IP address of the uh, the Elasticsearch server 192.168.1.10 so that's all needed it's just the Elasticsearch uh, URL and the Kibana URL so we've done that and what we can do now is sudo file beat test output okay so that's a quick command file beat test output so it um, what this test does is it just checks the uh, the output URL um, that we have entered in the file b.yaml file and checks if we can make a successful connection to um, the ELK server the elastic and the Kibana server so it says the URL is okay connection is okay DNS up look up lookup is okay and address this is the address of the elastic search it just makes sure that um, the connection is okay it can reach the Kibana and the um, Elasticsearch server can I talk to the server yeah okay so what's the version of the um, um, Elasticsearch running it's Elasticsearch version 6.5.4 and if you look at the file beat um, we've installed the latest version of file beat which is 6.6.0 if I do sudo file beat version so version 6.6.0 okay cool so we've installed file bait so now we need to enable the uh, the system module we've done the configuration so now enable and configure the system module okay sudo file beat modules list uh, we haven't got anything enabled under disabled we've got all these uh, modules that we can enable uh, but at the moment we are looking for this one system so let's enable it sudo file beat modules enable system okay that's enable if I do the list command again you can see the system module is enabled right so um, if you want we can also configure uh, the settings for this module which is sudo vi etc filebeat 
modules.d system.yaml. So basically it says um, syslog, yeah, it's enabled um, var.paths. I think by default it should pick up the uh, the messages file and um, this auth file. Uh, but if you have problems, what you can do is you can uncomment this file and you can give it a list for log messages and for auth you can uncomment this one and enter var log secure. So this is um, in the case of CentOS. Depending on what distribution you're using, if you're using Ubuntu, it's going to be var log auth and this one will be var log um, syslog. Um, so I don't think we need to um, give this um, option. Let's see what the default one does. Okay, I haven't changed anything. I was just um, explaining you how we can change it. So everything was back to how it was. Okay, so we've enabled the module. What we got to do now is to do um, a couple of commands, file beat setup and uh, service file beat start. Uh, so after we enabled file, after we installed FileBeat, we didn't enable it. So we need to make sure to enable FileBeat because whenever you restart your machine, um, unless the service is enabled, um, it won't um, start. So sudo systemctl status FileBeat. So FileBeat is disabled by default when you install. sudo systemctl enable file beat so that's done so before we start file beat we need to do sudo file beat setup okay what it basically does is um, it talks to the Kibana and it loads some of the basic uh, dashboards that we will be using system dashboards okay so that's completed. Now we can start the FileBeat service. sudo systemctl start FileBeat. sudo systemctl status FileBeat. Okay, FileBeat is running. That's good. Now, back in here, module status. If I click check data, okay, cool. Data successfully received from this module. System logs dashboard. File beat. Okay. If I um, usually when I click the uh, uh, the system logs dashboard button on the previous page, it should have taken me to the uh, dashboard page. But anyways, if you don't get that, you can always go back to the infrastructure, setup instructions, logging, system logs. RPM. There are other ways to get to the uh, dashboard, but I'm just showing the easiest way. Module status, check data. So that's all running good. System logs dashboard. All right. So that's our um, system log from CentOS VM01. Right. Um, system dot syslog dot hostname. Um, you might be wondering where this local host is coming from. So that's the sudo less war log messages yeah so that's the uh, the local host entry here right um, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go into Ubuntu 18 vi vagrant file um, let's change this to 2 it's an Ubuntu um, 1804 virtual machine uh, with 2 gig of memory and 1 CPU similar to the CentOS 7 machine. Let's bring this machine up. Vagrant up. Okay, so while the machine is coming up, let's um, go through some of the um, settings here. So, so this is the dashboard. And if you want, you can also look at uh, the raw logs. So these are the logs here, and if you want to filter, um, for example, if you want to filter by 
file set dot name is auth what you can do is file sets dot name colon auth okay so that's filtered and if you also want to um, filter by anything else say for example input dot type is log input dot type colon log okay so that's two filters and if you don't want to do it this way there is also um, a handy filter option add a filter and if I add a filter you can say um, beat dot host name is is not is one of so you can specify which operator you want so beat dot host name is it will automatically give you the list of um, clients that you have added um, because based on the uh, the log entries it will give you these values so it will be very useful CentOS VM01 so at the moment we've got logs coming from just one machine CentOS 7 so it doesn't make much uh, difference but you can see here beat.hostname CentOS VM and so on and if you want to edit this filter you can edit it here and if you want to delete it you can delete okay so that's the um, history from the last 15 minutes logs from the last 15 minutes so that's the, um, the system logs if you go to dashboard um, you can see some nice fancy graphs okay let's do Vagrant SSH let's get into the Ubuntu virtual machine and also set up the whatever we did in CentOS 7 machine we'll just try and do the same thing on the uh, the Ubuntu machine um, if I go to infrastructure setup instructions logging system logs Debian everything is going to be the same except um, installing the file bit so if I open that one install file bit um, install file bit from our repositories so that's the apt repository I'm going to copy that one and uh, I'm going to paste that here okay that's done and I'm going to install this package control C sudo apt get install apt transport https so before that I'm gonna update my cache apt get update okay that's done let's go back and install the software okay and the final command will be this one copy that and paste it here sudo apt get update and now we should be able to install filebeat sudo apt get install minus y filebeat right filebeat is installed now let's um, edit the filebeats configuration as we did in CentOS 7 sudo vi etc filebeat filebeat.yaml I'll change the color scheme so I can see it search for Kibana uncomment the host entry um, enter the IP address of your Kibana server in my case I'm running it on my host machine which has an IP address 192.168.1.10 search for outputs and output.elasticsearch so again here enter the IP address of your Elasticsearch 192.168.1.10 so that's all needed save and quit the file sudo systemctl enable filebeat sudo filebeat version 6.6.0 sudo filebeat test output okay so our file beat can successfully make connection to the uh, the elastic server so we're all good now so now we need to enable the system module sudo file beat enable sorry 
modules list we have nothing enabled at the moment sudo filebit modules enable system list system is enabled if you want you can um, edit the file which is in etc filebit modules.d system.yaml so that's the file if you want you can edit that but I'm going to go with the default um, settings so once that's done um, if you edit any of the uh, uh, module configuration what you could do is you can run sudo filebeat test config to see if there is any syntax if there are any syntax errors sudo filebeat test config config is okay sudo filebeat test output output is okay sudo filebeat setup right setup is done now we can start the filebeat service sudo systemctl start filebeat sudo systemctl status filebeat that's running so now back in the dashboard we should be able to see um, our data from both the servers data successfully received from this module that's good system logs dashboard now if you see here you should be able to see uh, from both the uh, machines so as you can see here localhost and Ubuntu Bionic so we are getting um, entries from both the servers okay so that's the dashboard and if I go to discover what I can do is you can see all these entries I can um, I can filter the entries for the uh, for the Ubuntu servers if you want add a filter um, beat dot name or beat dot host name anything is okay is so now you can see those two entries so if I select Ubuntu VM and click Save right so you can see all the these are the log entries from our Ubuntu machine so the system logs are being forwarded by Filebeat to the ELK server so that's well and good um, if you want to edit you can edit that filter and I want logs from CentOS VM01 and you can see those are the logs one final thing I wanted to show you is um, I'll just quickly show you uh, I'll just quickly make an entry uh, in the log file and see whether that's um, occurring in our ELK server which logger okay logger is there sudo logger minus T for tag I'm gonna tag it as jungle hello 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 okay sudo tail war log syslog so that's the uh, the log entry that I just made using the logger command jungle let's see if it's um, appearing in our Kibana dashboard okay now if I delete it and um, search for jungle there it is system.syslog.program is jungle var log syslog and the message is hello 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 cool it made it so so far what we've been seeing is just the um, the system log using file beats so we haven't um, gone into the the metric beat yet on both Ubuntu and CentOS machines. So we have just used file beat uh, from CentOS and Ubuntu machines to forward the system logs um, to the Elasticsearch and seeing it in Kibana. So now let's um, install metric beat and see um, how the dashboard looks. It, it it's straightforward and it's very similar to file beat. Um, I'm going to cd to the Vagrant file, CentOS 7, Vagrant SSH. Okay, so on the bottom pane I've got the um, login to the CentOS 7 virtual machine on the, on the uh, pane above, it's Ubuntu virtual machine. Right, so now as we've got the Elasticsearch repository already added, 
because that's how we install FileBeat. Um, we can install metric beat from the, from the same repository. sudo yum install minus y metric beat. So I'm going to do the same on uh, the Ubuntu machine. sudo apt get install metric beat. Okay, so once this is installed, similar to file beat, we need to modify uh, the metric beats configuration to tell where to look for the elastic search and the Kibana URL. Okay, on the CentOS machine, sudo vi etc metric beat, um, the file locations are very similar. In file beat, it's etc file beat file beat dot yaml. And if you just change file beat to metric beat, you will find the uh, the the files. Okay, search for Kibana, uncomment the host entry and set the IP address of your Kibana server 192.168.1.10. Search for outputs under output.elasticsearch. Enter the IP address of your Elasticsearch server. Save and quit the file. I'm going to do the same on uh, the Ubuntu machine. sudo vietc metric beat metric beat dot yaml. Search for Kibana. Uncomment the entry. Enter the IP address. 192.168.1.10 Search for outputs output.elasticsearch and 192.168.1.10 Okay, so we are good now. sudo systemctl enable metric beat sudo systemctl enable metric beat right what's next um, we've enabled metric beat we have configured the metric beat um, okay let's do sudo metric beat version 6.6.0 .6 sudo metric beat version 6.6.0 .6 okay um, as I'm going to run the same set of commands on both CentOS and Ubuntu VM, I'm going to synchronize the pane. So that when I type the command on one pane, it's going to get synchronized on the other pane. A cool feature in Tmax. I'll show you an example. See, I'm just typing on one pane and it gets replicated on the other one. Okay. sudo file beat version. We are on 660. Um, sorry, we were working on metric beat, right? sudo metric beat version 6.6.0. Since we've configured uh, uh, the metric beat uh, configuration file, we need to make sure that it can successfully um, communicate with the Elasticsearch server. sudo metric beat test output. Okay, um, it can talk to the server. Both these metric beats can talk to the ELK server. That's well and good. sudo metric beat modules list um, in file beat we enable the system module but we only install the metric beat but as you can see the system module is already installed so we don't have to install we don't have to enable the system module but if you want you can disable it but it's already enabled okay um, but if you want to change the configuration uh, of this module it will be etc metric beat modules system dot yaml and basically you can see for every 10 seconds um, the metric beat is going to send the CPU load memory network uh, process statistics to the ELK server and top 5 CPU top 5 process top 5 process by memory and for every one minute it's going to use the file system and file system statistics and for every 15 minutes it's going to send the uptime uh, module uptime metric 
Okay, so I'm not going to change anything. I'm just going to leave everything um, as default. Sudo system CTL status metric beat um, is enabled, but it's not started. But we need to do one more thing sudo metric beat setup. So that will um, set up the dashboards um, in your Kibana server. Right, setup is done. Now we can start the metric beat service. sudo system ctl start metric beat. sudo system ctl status metric beat. Right, so metric beat is running on both our uh, virtual machines, Ubuntu and CentOS virtual machines. Okay, so back in the dashboard what we can do is go to infrastructure those are the metrics actually okay go to dashboard uh, dashboard and search for metric beat um, system search for metric beat system Okay, so that's the one. Okay, so that's the um, the metrics from our Ubuntu and CentOS virtual machine. So we've got some nice cool graphs. Top five processes by memory, uh, by CPU interface. So that's the uh, the network traffic packets, uh, number of packets, number of bytes. This one is the memory usage, uh, disk I.O., system load, and so on. OK, so we are looking at uh, the uh, stats for CentOS VMO1. If you want both, we can go to System Overview. And you can see we've got both Ubuntu VMO1 and CentOS VMO1, both sending system metrics to uh, the ELK server. Right, um, system overview, if you want, uh, you can click on Ubuntu VMO1. Uh, so that's the stats for uh, the Ubuntu virtual machine. You can see the processes by memory, CPU, network packets, disk I.O., CPU usage, system load, number of process running, memory usage, and it's it's quite useful. It's the uh, it's a metric. So at the moment, it's um, showing us for the last fifteen minutes um, these graphs. If you can see here, it's um, quarter to eleven and eleven. So it's about fifteen minutes. And if you change that to last twelve hours, you can see the graphs are gone a little bit. Okay, so let's go back to last 15 minutes. So again, we so that we can see a good graph. Okay, so that's the graph. And again, you can go to discover if you want. Uh, these are the entire logs and metrics. Um, we we haven't filtered anything, but at the moment we are looking at the file beat index pattern. So when we added the file beat and metric beat, it would have created the uh, different set of index patterns so these are the file beat pattern and if you click on that one you can see the metric beat as well so okay so that's the metric beat and again here you can do the same set of searches add a filter beat dot name or beat dot host name both are going to have the same value so beat dot name is whether CentOS or Ubuntu, okay, so if I say Ubuntu, um, you'll see. So these are the metrics collected from our Ubuntu machine. And you can edit this and you can change that to CentOS. And you will see all the um, metrics from the CentOS. So I've just shown you a very basic um, filter and query things, but you can do a lots of advanced query. You can filter if you expand one of these um, entry, log entry, metric entry, you can see what are all the various fields you can query on. So that's the dashboard for Ubuntu system metrics. You can see the graphs are populating as time goes on. Right. Okay. Um, 
one other thing for the last thing that I wanted to show you is file beat uh, test output output so it's all working okay right and what if I delete CD play ELK docker so that's where my docker compose file is docker compose ps docker compose down docker volume prone why okay so the docker volume has been deleted so my docker um, containers are completely removed and if I refresh it I won't be able to see it so basically I've killed my um, Elasticsearch and Kibana containers. So now if I from the client machine if I do the same command you can see I, I just wanted to show you how it looks like when it tries to um, connect to the ELK server. Okay so the address of the ELK Elasticsearch server is 192.168.1.10 um, but can I connect to it? No. Connection is refused. So that's a basic check. Right? Um, I think that's all I wanted to show in this video. I didn't think that it would take this long. Um, it was a little longer than expected. That's okay. Um, but um, hopefully you found this um, video useful. And if you've got any questions or anything um, that's not working the way I showed in this video when you're following along, um, please let me know in the comments and I should be able to jump in and help you. Um, if you like this video, please share it with your friends and uh, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And um, thank you so much for your time again watching this video and I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye.